Hey everybody, welcome back to Simple Electronics Struggles with KiCad. Um, in the last episode, we had actually finished doing our PCB layout, and we're actually sort of ready, but this time I want to sort of prepare everything for uh, PCB Fab. So, um, what I figured is we should probably work on our silk screen because our silk screen kind of looks a bit horrid and uh, I do like to have the component values put in there so let's uh, let's get that done so first and foremost uh, you can just take front silk there we go and um, you can move things around so we'll just take um, you know what instead of R1 I think that would I would rather that say the value I don't uh, 1k so we'll put 1k like that okay and we will move this to the center there I'm gonna take this label whoop, take that label and move it here but we want it to say you know any 555 like that I'm gonna grab that and rotate it so there we go. I'll take um, this guy uh, and I will move it over here and we want it to be called 10K. I'll put a small K. I don't know why I prefer the small K. There we go, 10K. RV1, we want to take this, uh, move this guy, rotate it and we want this to be 50k since it's a 50k potentiometer that's good uh, q1 is not necessarily bad but i think i think i would rather say because it is um the order let me just pull up something here so gate drain source so gate drain source I would like you to be able to use whatever MOSFET you want as long as it has the same sort of position so I'm just gonna put um, G space D space S I may actually space that a bit more like that okay there we go gate drain source I, I think I would rather have it like that so that it's labeled and you have a good idea of what's going on. Um, so this one here, whoops, this guy here, I'm gonna move this, rotate it, and this is actually 0.1 UF, like that, whoops, I have caps lock on, UF, 0.1 UF, that's good. Uh, this guy here, we need to move it, and that is rotate like this put that up there maybe and that is 470 um, UF okay kind of make that pretty um, this oh that positive it's actually part of the design I was gonna move it more prominently but I think I'll be able to manage to figure out what that means over here um, our diodes you know they're really kind of generic I don't hey can't delete this delete like that huh I can't delete the uh, diode well I guess I'll just move it into the diode because really it's not that important plus they're just diodes it's good I don't need the K oh, I can delete that that's odd I don't need the K because we have the band here that's fine um, this guy here rotate and change that to its value 0.01 UF it might actually it might be better rotated this way same thing with this guy this is 0.1 UF like that 
that's good. Um, okay, so this here is actually 12 volts, so that will go to load. So let's put text, and since we're still on our front silk screen here, go to load. Yeah, maybe. I don't. I'm not sure if I want caps or not, but that's okay. To load, I'm gonna move it down just a notch using the M key to move. And this will be from load. Uh, oops, need the text tool. Okay, move that. Uh, change the grid. Twenty-five mils from load. And I think I want to make a box just to show Eesh. running into stuff here. Maybe a nice, what is this, a trapeze <laughs> from load? To load. Does that look too ugly? I don't know. This is uh no this is something that I'm gonna be sending out to some people. So hopefully it's not too ugly. There we go, from load to load. And what else do we have here? I think the rest is kind of nice. This here is the only thing I kind of want to put in. So there is this guy. So put GND. Okay, rotate. So that is ground. And then this guy is plus 12 volts. Okay, and rotate that. There we go. So that should be pretty nice. And then I'll just add one more thing, which is um, YouTube dot, uh, put a capital T as well, dot com slash simple electronics okay no just jam that right in there I'm trying to give myself a lot of space because I want to panelize these okay and then the back silk screen um, back 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 silk screen okay I want to put um circuit found on internet nah do I be cheeky like that I'll just write um YouTube and oh boy let's delete this
Okay, circuit designed by. And then me. And then for all the support to my patrons and viewers. Oh boy. That one's too big. Thank you for your support. A huge thanks to my patrons. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably have a little little something extra for my patrons patrons they really do it really does mean a lot I kinda wanna put this where there's not too many pads jeez uh, let's like get rid of all this stuff uh, these guys aren't even there front silk Okay, don't need circuit board designed by. We'll move this though. Like this. Maybe it's best over here. Hmm. I don't know if I can even read that. Uh, trying to go over the pads too much. And like this, move. go there you are I don't know if I'll be able to read that but um, looks right a h u g does a g no the g looks right t thanks t yeah okay t's on top on top on top okay I think this is properly done I've never had to read mirrored before uh, so now I want to just make sure that all this is good okay so now we can actually export this and see what's going on but let's uh, first let's actually copy all of this so just making sure sorta of everything's there I'm not sure how to do this to be very honest with you um, can I select all the layers hidden text I don't know what hidden text is for okay so I'm gonna sort of yeah well I'm gonna see what happens copy reference point sure there and then paste now what did that paste front copper is there Rear copper is there. 
Um, oh, maybe not front silk. Yeah, it copied everything. Okay. Paste again. There we go. And the reason I'm doing this is because GLC PCB, I know, has a 100 mil by 100 mil maximum board size. And I don't think it affects the cost until you go over. So if I measure this from here to here, that is 82.55. And I think I can copy this whole thing. Copy. Uh, reference point for the copy is here. And then paste. There we go. So how wide is this? We'll take our measurements. Uh, so that is 83.82 by 83.82 did that really work out that this uh, this board is even that is actually very interesting and then I'll go in here and grab these edge cuts and if I go edge cuts why can I not delete these edge cuts yeah both of them Yeah, I have. I think I have to delete all these edge cuts uh, simply because, or else they're gonna think that um, they're <laughs> penalized, and they're gonna want to charge me more. So what I'm doing is pretending this is literally what I wanted to just have these sort of you know a six six wide delete why is this so hard so there we go so now my edge cuts are simply around the proximity so I have a lot of space here to cut this and kinda have a lot of runoff space for for mess ups I was gonna say but uh, yeah so that looks ready to go um, there might be some glaring deficiencies I'm not sure they don't it doesn't look like it to me um, I see all the seems to be all connected properly yeah pin 8 is power and pin 1 is ground I think we're okay so I think we're gonna be ready to export this these copper fills they all look good I'm gonna check the so that's the front copper check the rear copper that's good yeah, I think we're going to be fine. I could have probably made this a little bit tighter, but eh, what do you want? All right, so now I'm going to plot. All right, I don't need the paste. Front silk, yeah. Uh, solder mask, did I even do anything to it? Does it have solder mask? Uh, let's see. don't think it has solder mask don't know what eco is don't know what margin is uh, 
front and back copper. It does not have solder mask. So let's do solder mask. I'm um, going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, make a polygon. That's edge cut, so we don't want to be on that. We want to be on the front mask. Oh, does that mean it's all masked except for that? Not sure. I'm going to give this a shot here. That did not work out. Let's um okay, let's put everything back in. Copper, copper, silk. Uh edge cuts and I think that's it. Okay, so let's take, I think there's a 3D viewer in here. Let's see if we can find that. Board setup, footprint, footprint, net list, PCB, design rules check, active layer, Ishima. There's definitely a 3D viewer. Route, place, view, 3D viewer, Alt 3. This could take a little bit. Aha! Actually, this looks freaking fantastic. I don't have the uh, potentiometer there. But that looks great. So, potentiometer is going to stick out this way. Look at that. It's a beauty. Thank you for your support. A huge thanks to my Patreons. I'm going to move the A huge down a little bit. More centered. So, yeah, actually, it looks fantastic. Look at that. Uh, actually, I will not move it because I'll have to move it on each. Okay. So that's good. So now I will plot and make sure all this is good. So edge cuts, yep. Front mask, back, back mask, silk, silk. Uh, I don't think we need paste. Front copper, back copper. I think that's it. Um, and then I think this is all good. So this is default. So first I'll generate drill files. I have no idea what all this means, but I just know I want a Gerber. So generate drill, that's done. Close, and now I want to plot. Maybe I'll run a DRC. Sure, run DRC. Zone fills are out of date. Refill? Yeah. Good idea. Track too close to pad. Interesting. Front copper. Pad 2 of 50k on all. Uh oh. Uh, close. Close. What do they mean? Track too close to pad. It it looks fine to me. Do you see anything wrong? I don't see anything wrong. I think that is something in our design rules. Because the track does not, well it goes onto it. I think we're fine. You know, I'm just going to send it.
Hey, what the heck? There's no fill here. What happened? There's absolutely no fill here. But there is on the other ones. And I didn't move anything as far as I know. Well, you know what? I don't know enough about this process. Um, so I'm going to roll the dice. If I need to hand fix a thousand boards, um, <laughs> by this case, uh, six, and then you get five of these. So, you know, six times five, what, 30 boards? If I have to hand fix 30 boards for you guys, I will do that. I'm not too concerned about that. All right, so plot, the drill files are already made. Front silk, front mask, back mask. Yep, we'll do that. Plot. All created. Okay. So now I will bring you back when we upload this to JLC PCB. And I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to go with them for the full production. I think I will give them a try though and see what happens. Yeah, plenty of look, plenty of space. We're fine. I think we're fine. So I'll go with them um, probably and I will then choose another manufacturer or two I think to compare. So we'll see what goes on. I'll bring you back where we're at their website.